Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a plan with me using some leftovers from a weekly kit that I am in progress with and some washi and whatever else we can find to make this work. I love the artwork from this kit and I wanted to make sure that I did not waste the kit or any of the pieces of the kit. So that is why we are kind of doing this leftovers spread. Um, so I have this um this is the personal or these are the personal strips from the artwork and then i have this from the kit now i don't want to use all of this obviously because i still have to finish my week but i do have a lot of stuff that i can use here so this is what i have left this is the honey kit from scribble prince co so i'm going to use these two at least in my monthly spread probably this one as well i'm going to save this one for my weekly I'm already running out of room in my weekly, so I might have quite a few in here. But I'm going to trim those down and use them as, like, the big boxes. Okay, and then I'm going to use two of these, and then at least one of these, and at least one of these half boxes. I'm going to use this half of the deco. Any of the icons are up for grabs. Um, I have some more icons, some more checklists. Uh, some washi strips and labels, maybe some of those I can use. Anything from this I can use, and then any of the washi strips, which I think I might like stack or make some flags out of or something. And then I want to use one of these for my, or two of them for my sidebar, we'll see. And then I've already used up all of the washi um, page, so that's why I bought this little guy. So right now, oh, well, let me watch, let me show you these. Okay, so I brought out some washi that I thought would match. So these are rose, rose gold hearts. This roll is a mess, but we'll deal. Just um, black washi. Then I've got these guys. So I've got a marble from CD Stickers. This one is from, I don't even know, but it says hi and hello. And I thought with the black and white, it might look cute. Black and white polka dots. This is simply gilded with rose gold bows. And then this one is from the Target Dollar Spot and it has the green that I need and the pink and it's got like gray in it too. So I thought this might be something that I could incorporate as well. So right now I'm going to speed you through me doing the washi banners up here like I normally do. So since the month starts on the first, I will not have any up here, but that's okay because I will have some down here at the bottom where May starts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm gonna go ahead and set up my notes page, I think. And then we will be back to work on the actual plans within the month.
Okay, so we have the washi down. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I think once it's finished, it's gonna look like cohesive. Right now it looks kind of messy and weird, but I think it's gonna come together. This was kind of a struggle because the purple dots don't match at all, but we're just, we're just gonna go with what happened here. I like it, I think it looks pretty. Okay, so let's go into the plans. All right. Um, Oh, I completely forgot to use this one. I might be able to incorporate this somewhere. We'll see. Okay, so the only thing that I don't like is this one because of the orange. The orange is like not my favorite, but I don't know what else to use besides that. So I might come back to that and fix it later. We'll see. I might like switch it out for more marble. I think that might look nicer. Yeah, probably when I fill everything out, I'll switch it out. Okay, so on Monday the 1st, I need to renew my gym membership and change my air filter. Okay, I think I will use like a gym, something with the gym, like one of these little kettlebells. Maybe like this little pink one to renew my gym membership. I do pay like every three months. Okay, and then to change my air filter, I have a sticker for that. Let me find it real quick. I brought out like my whole binder, but it has so much stuff in it. So this may be a struggle. Okay, so these guys, let's just use black. So change my air filter. This is also Easter. I want to mark that. I'm not marking April Fool's. I am not a fan of April Fool's Day. It's just not my thing. Um, I think the the um the tricks usually like get out of hand and like become mean, and it's just not my thing. Okay, so I think I'll use like a quarter box or something for this. Let me find one. I have these from Erin Condren, but I think I'll use one from the kit just so it looks nice. But I pretty much only have room for a quarter box. So let's do this one. No, I wanna save that or I'll save that one. We'll just use this one. So this is Easter, and I don't know if I have anything to mark that with. See, I know I have gold stuff, but I don't know that I have rose gold anything. So, you know what? I might have something. Hold on. Okay, these are from Happy Planner. I don't know which, um, what am I trying to say? Which book? Cause I like basically destroy them, <laughs> but that is pretty. I like that. I don't know that I have anything else to go with that. Maybe let's look in this box or this uh, book. I like, I think we're just going to leave it or maybe put one of these little black love stickers that will work okay this is a work day which i did not discover until just a few <laughs> weeks ago but it is what it is okay i think i'll use one of these ec labels to mark work day and then maybe i can bring out like a munchkin or something i ordered some um some numbers for all of my monthly spreads. And I think I will try to not cover up the numbers and then go back and like fill them in later. Okay, so that, what can I do with that? I've already used my munchkin from the freebie. Let's see what we got here. Or we could use the box of Pip Girl, which I always like. Ooh. This would be perfect. 
Mona from Bubba Bear Studio. She's not happy about going to work. That's perfect. Okay, and then uh, let's see. I like to go in order so I don't forget anything. Okay, I have Blue Apron coming on Saturday and the Ruffles and Rust Expo. We have a little. Um, let's see. I'm going to use this from Exo Mama Plans. This is one of the little third boxes kind of things. So this is the Ruffles and Rust Expo. There is a little shopping icon or a munchkin on the freebie that would work perfectly. Put her right there. So Ruffles and Rust is like a, a traveling trade show. And then they like... People from all over Texas or our tri-state area like have booths and stuff there, but it, the theme is mainly like country fixer-upper style, like uh, farmhouse chic, and it's really fun. I went a couple of months ago, so I want to go again. Okay, I need to find like a food, something food related, so let me go into my collection. I did not prep very well for this. Um, let's do like a banana because it's yellow and that kind of matches. So that's Ruffles and Russ. And then this is Blue Apron. I have some more Blue Apron coming, but I'm not sure when. We'll see. Okay, Rex Manning Day. If you are a fan of Empire Records, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But Rex Manning Day is a fun little holiday for a movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, let's use a little thing. Let's use this one. But it's April 8th every year. Okay. And then, oh, we have state testing. Okay, I have the perfect sticker for this though. They are perfection. Um, you know what? I have a, this one. Okay. I have to work the baseball game. So I'm going to grab a little baseball from the back. I have to be the administrator at the baseball game, which I've already done it once, so I kind of know what I'm doing now. <laughs> okay, so I have my little baseball. And that's this day, but we also have testing. So I want to use one of these little pencils, but maybe like a flag or I can make a flag or something. Let's find some more of that washi. I have these. I might as well use these since I've already cut them down. Okay, so this day we have one of the star tests, the English one, which I'm going to be giving the online version. So I'm just going to put a little pencil over that. And then that afternoon I'm doing the baseball game. Okay. The 11th is my YouTube anniversary, So this marks one year that I've been on YouTube, which is so exciting and fun. I think that I will use, I will always forget to use these labels because I'm like always saving them for something special, but we're gonna use it now. Um, I think I still have the film clapper, yeah. So I'm gonna take this from the kit and put that here and mark my first YouTube. My first YouTube anniversary. So one year on YouTube. It's so exciting. It's been fun. I kind of cringe at my first videos because I'd have zero clue what I was doing. I just figured it out as I went. But now I feel way more comfortable with it and more comfortable like talking and stuff. I was so stiff. 
in my first couple of videos. It's very uncomfortable. Now I'm much more comfortable. Okay, I'm going to use this other piece of that washi strip. And I'm going to make another flag and do the same thing that I did with the other um, testing day. And I'm going to use another pencil. Where did I put that? There it is. These are from Nikki Plus 3. So this is the English 2 plus... I think I'm going to go ahead and put down this, um, this calculator because we're also doing math benchmarks, which is Algebra 1, and I'm probably going to be giving this since I'm not giving that test. Okay, now there's a lot going on this day. Three things. Okay, so it's my friend's birthday, so I want to get out my... And I'll have some presents. Where are they? There we go. Let's see how many we can. I have two birthdays, I think, this month. Let's use this one to mark my friend Amber's birthday. It's also the end of six weeks and it's payday. Um, do I have a payday sticker? I'm pretty sure there's not a payday sticker in here, so let me see if I have one. Oh, I didn't. Okay. So this is payday. So I'll put that right there. And then it's also the end of the six weeks. So... Let's put a little thing, a yellow one, with a little teacher munchkin. Let me find them because they're cute. This has been like the longest six weeks of all time, so I'm going to use the angry one. <laughs> Grading papers. Papers do say A on them, so she can't be that mad. Oh, there's some F's on the floor. Okay, well, there we go. So payday, end of the six weeks. Okay, this day is prom, which thankfully I do not have to go to at all. I'm so excited. But I do want to mark it down because it's a special day for the kids. And they get all excited. So let me do... Can you do this sparkly gold one? Because I know I'm not going to use this in my, um, my weekly spread. Okay, that'll be for prom. Let me use this little... No, I'm going to save that for later. Okay, then let me do, for my aunt's birthday, let's do another present. Um, ooh, this one's perfect. This green is, like, hard to match, but there we go. Okay. There's that. Prom. Okay, over here, my nephew is going to be 10 months old. 10 months old. That is crazy. Okay, let's do the little munchkin. I knew I wanted to use this for something. Let's do this. Okay, I'm thinking. Okay, for Gray being 10 months old, let's do these. this little munchkin. There's like in the what is it? It's like crying love. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then for the sixth six weeks starting, let's do this coffee cup on the little thing. Okay, there we go. All right, there's a board meeting the 17th, which I do not have to go to, but I do like to mark those down because they're important. So let's do...
Hmm. I don't want to use like a full box. Let's use one of these guys. A little Erin Condren label with maybe a flag or something. I'll like make a little flag. Out of some more washi. Okay, let's do this medium size. There we go, perfect. So that's the board meeting. And then the rest of April is pretty much boring. I was gonna put in the scandal finale, but I'm not caught up and I don't know if I'm gonna be caught up to watch it. So I'm gonna take this off. I might add it in again later, but for now I'm gonna leave it. I do wanna mark Earth Day probably. Are there any other holidays? I mean, I'm, I went ahead and moved, or I took out Passover because I'm, I don't celebrate Passover, but I could put in Earth Day, so let's do that. I wonder if it's on, I don't think it's on this sheet. Nope. Nope. Okay. So let's do that. Um... I wish I had like a little world or something. Something cute to mark that with. I do have one of these from my sampler and this color matches pretty well. Well, it's a little bit too blue. Mm, yeah, let's not do that. Okay, this is perfect though. Let's use this for Earth Day. Birthday. I wish I had like a plant. Oh, okay. Let's use a piece of deco. Some flowers. Like that. Perfect. Is that everything? I think it is. Okay, let's work on this part over here real quick. Okay, so basically there's a couple things I need to get done, but not like a ton. And I'm going to put a full box or two over here. You know what? If I want to make use of the space and the fact that I need to use up some full boxes, let's use like one at the top and then put the to-do list in the middle. So let's do this one at the top of the girl. That's straight. Yes. Okay, there's her. And then I need to do a to-do list. Let's use, I just love this color, so I want to use that with a to-do. Or I could just use important. Okay, so let's do important. And then put this little checklist. Can't stream. Ooh, it is. Okay. And then let's do another full box. I really like this one a lot. It's pretty. I have more space though, so what should I do in there? That pink is like perfect. Let's do like a favorite moment. Since I have the room right here. I need like a little header or something. Let's do a little thing with some deco. Just a little teacup. Okay, and then let's put down this from the Sadie's sampler. 
Is there going to be too much room though? Probably. Yep. But I really want to do that. Okay, let's see if we can move everything up just a smidge. Okay, I think that's going to be really cute, and I might do that more often, like in my regular spreads. Okay, so that's going to be for our favorite moments, and then I think that's everything. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch out this washi, this striped one, for something else. Maybe just straight black. Or maybe this one, since I haven't used this yet. I think I will do that. And then I'm gonna finish filling everything in and then I'll be right back. So here it is all finished with the pre-planning. I will definitely have things that will come up that will be filled in. And I do still want to use this rose gold, rose gold heart washi, um, probably layered in the empty days. Um, I did go ahead and redo the washi here and here. I think it looks nice, except that I think I want to go back and do the same thing I did up here, which is put like a black um, backdrop. Um, just so that it looks a little more evened out and there's not like white space showing through. I do love the notes page too. I think it turned out really, really well. So I have a lot to work with here. So I have some more full boxes that I can cut down to use as like fillers or whatever I want to do. And I think this is going to look really, really pretty. If you want to see the finished spread at the end of the month, you can check out my Instagram. Um, yeah. 
I think we're finished. So thank you so much for joining me. This was a fun one. I like being forced to be creative. It always turns out really great in the end. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.